The downpour this morning formed a pond on Freeport Road between the waterworks and Aspenwall. That closed down a busy entrance to UPMC St. Margaret Hospital. John Shumway is live there with how the hospital stayed open today. John. Yeah, they stayed open because they could still accept people coming into the parking lot off Delafield Avenue. But here on Freeport Road, in fact, the police just moved back their barricade uh, to the entrance to the hospital a little bit ago. They've been waiting all day for the crews to come and clean this up and try and get some of this water out of here. Uh, they don't want traffic on it because mud is just like ice for the drivers. Just one of the issues in this area of the Allegheny Valley. When the skies opened up, it was hard to describe how quickly the creeks came out of their banks and rushed where they weren't supposed to go. In a matter of five minutes after it started to rain, she was going up over that bridge twice this morning. Catanning Pike was quickly inundated as township manager Julie Yakubic recorded on her phone. And in the midst of it, Betsy Summers, who lost a car here in a flood in 06, tried to get to her car and lost the battle to the water. Hooked my arm around the, the antenna over it and was hanging on with the back of the antenna. And just with God's grace that I, I held my footing and uh, the debris in the water just kept banging and banging and banging on my shins. First, O'Hara Township's Jeremy Chalmers got to her and then firefighters came to help. They were angels from heaven. I was I was so relieved because uh, I, I thought I was going to die. Those firefighters spent the rest of the day pumping out the basements of homes like on Marjorie Lane. Freeport Road was flooded, blocking the entrance to St. Margaret's Hospital, making it difficult for staff and patients to get there. Road crews have spent the day assessing the damage throughout the township. Like a slide on Harding Road, we've had flooding on Cabin Lane. Uh, we've, we're concerned about flooding and landslides at the bottom of Powers Run Road. Meanwhile, PennDOT's trying to figure out why this section of Route 28 flooded just north of RIDC Park. With the medians getting uh, clogged up, we're not 100% sure that's an area that we normally don't see a lot of uh, flooding at. It's actually a hill. So we're trying to investigate why that one is uh, flooding at this moment. Back on Catanning Pike, George just takes it all in stride. Got a little bit in the basement, but not bad. You've had this happen before. Oh, yeah. Lots of times. You're smiling. What are you going to do? Yeah, and the standing water on the roads, uh, as it obviously is continuing here on Freeport, this is not unusual. There are a lot of streets that still have water on them, including Route 28 at the inbound entrance from right next to Delafield Avenue. Uh, cars are having to force over into the left side to get into it around that pond. Again, if you see standing water, don't drive through it, and do be careful about driving on mud because it is very slick. As one woman said to me, if this is a 100-year storm, why have we had five in the last five years? Live in O'Hare Township, John Shumway, KDK News. Yeah.